Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Matt Bent, who is the Senior Sales Engineer and Solutions Architect for Forcepoint. Uh, so this is our third IT Jam with both Forcepoint and Matt. Uh, but for those who haven't seen our other Forcepoint IT Jams, it is a security software and data protection company specializing in cloud access, security, firewall, and cross-domain solutions. Welcome to the Jam again, Matt. Great, thank you, nice to be here. Cool. So just to start off, we're going to be talking a lot about your Forcepoint DLP solution. So can you just give me a brief overview of what that is? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So Forcepoint's been a, uh, a leader in the market for uh, over 10 years now in, in data protection. Um, so enterprise data protection, we talk about um, the ability to follow a user as they um, interact with data regardless of that location. So um, what the force point data protection solution does is gives the ability to uh, follow the user from endpoint to network to cloud and have that one data protection uh, policy wrapped around that. Um, we focus a lot around at Forcepoint around behavioral analytics. So um, I guess as we um, understand the user's behavior, we're able to then, um, what we, we use things like dynamic data protection and uh, the ability to use analytics to dynamically change a user's data protection policy as well. So um, Forcepoint's really been a leader in that space. And um, as I said, we, um, we really look to have that, um, I guess, um, a single point um, for an administrator or a user to go and look at what a, what a, uh, what a user is doing in the organisation, how they're interacting with data and how we actually go and uh, protect that data from potential exfiltration. Right, yeah, and um, the solution itself has a people-based approach. Um, so could you explain what is meant by that, um, sort of like security around? Uh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So Forcepoint's um, background is, um, we're a division of Raytheon. So um, Raytheon is very focused on, um, I guess, uh, understanding human behavior and understanding what people are doing within fairly highly regulated organizations. So um, with the Forcepoint data protection solution, that inherent capability is built into the solution. So uh, what we are talking about there is then understanding the user's day-to-day -day role within an organization, um, getting a baseline of that user, understanding the user against himself, against his department, against his uh, global location. And then we basically build a baseline of that user. Once we start to understand what a user is doing uh, at any given time in an environment, we can then start to understand what data they interact with. Um, that becomes important with a effective data protection solution. We want to understand why users are interacting with data, why it's going from point A to point B. Once we can get that baseline and understand what the user is doing, we can effectively maintain an effective data protection um, strategy. And what the force point solution allow, allows us to do is not only provide a, a traffic light approach, what we would call traditional DLPS approach, so green you can do something, yellow you can be being monitored, or red you can't, to dynamically changing data protection policies based upon the user's behavior. So um, if, for example, we had a uh, compromised account or something malicious was occurring, we would see a deviation in behavior. And that deviation in behavior is able to then automate a policy change onto that user to effectively stop that user from being able to exfiltrate or send any data external to the organization. So um, that's where analytics becomes key um, in the, um, I guess, the fight against uh, data protection and as I said, getting that uh, effective data protection platform into an organization. Right, okay. Um, and how important is it to integrate compliance into security solutions? How is compliance becoming? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Compliance is a, is a significant driver. I'm based in Australia, obviously, in Melbourne, and um, we have, um, a couple of years ago now, we've brought on a lot of regulatory compliance and government enforced regulatory compliance. So um, we see compliance as a significant driver in the data protection space. Um, so what we have built into the product um, is the ability to deploy for compliance out of the box. Um, so as I said, endpoint to network to cloud, regardless of where your, your, your uh, information is kept, we are able to then go and choose the industries that your organization may be relevant to, the global regions that your industry may be relevant to. We will then be able to um, select from a, uh, a key set of uh, criteria that matches the local compliance laws. We can very easily just go tick box, tick box, tick box, and go and deploy those, uh, the, that solution for compliance. There is no need to go any further than that for compliance. We basically do everything there. And we, of course, we integrate into tools like classification and things like that, but uh, to detect and control data around that compliance space is very simple for us to do. 
out of the box. Um, as I said, GRC, Governance Risk and Compliance, is very much a driver for us, um, I guess, up, uh, across the whole region. Um, I'm seeing, um, I guess, the, the, the stakeholders and the, uh, the key stakeholders within organisations have moved away from or not just involving um, SecOps these days. You know, we've got compliance officers, we've got different teams and different stakeholders within an organisation that uh, need to, I guess, be across data protection understand an effective data protection program and go on into what that. So um, having a tool that can bridge the gaps between the different teams is key in the modern day to protect information. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Um, well, that concludes today's seminar. As again, we're of course both senior sales engineering solutions architect, Max Dan. Thank you so much for coming on, not just today, but um, all the other times, Matt, thank you. Great, thanks for your time. And uh, I'll see you again soon.